delicious already. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm with Chef David from Buster Brown Bean Company. You first, first day with me, anyway. Yes. And, and you already have it nailed down, I think. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we're making this broiled haddock. Yep, a broiled haddock. Uh, it's really popular. Our haddock is um, always fresh, never frozen. During Lent, basically, you start reserving like a week ahead of time for any of our haddocks. We do a beer battered, broiled, blackened, and a panko crusted. So they're all really, really popular. But for summer, going light, broiled. There you go. The way to go. Yeah. All that's right. That's the way we're going to go. And what are we serving with it? We're going to do a uh, baked potato. This is a standard russet, which um, in the past I've been asked, um, what's the difference between a russet and an Idaho? Mm -hmm. There really is no difference, but an Idaho potato has to have been grown in Idaho. Oh. So. You learn something new every day. There's lots of good fat in a potato, and it's, you know, people are afraid of them because maybe the carb count or whatever, but there are, there's lots of, good, lots of good fat in a potato. So. And we also have broccolini, right? Yes, we have some broccolini from a um, Gone Garden CSA. It's a community co-op, so you can buy into it, and then they grow all the vegetables um, locally. And then I also have some beautiful cherry tomatoes from my friend George Civiletto mm -hmm. over at Tuscany uh, Deli in Fredonia, New York. I love those guys, and he gave these plants to my kids, and they got to plant them in the backyard. So oh, my gosh, how much fun. And, and serving them, yeah, so lots of fun. He's a great guy, and he gave us tom uh, tomatoes and basil and stuff, so he's... He's an awesome guy, and they're awesome people. I bet you have a great garden then. I have a very tiny garden because I don't really have time to, d <laughs> to tend to it. That's why I depend on my local farmers, though. Yeah. Good, good. So we're going to actually just start a little bit of the prep yep. here um, just because there's a lot to do. Yep. We're going to rub this down with some oil, and then if I could ask you to take that salt and pepper and just sprinkle it about. Potatoes can take as, almost as much salt as you can give them. Don't be afraid. I mean, unless, of course, you... So you're not going to oversalt them? Yeah, it's pretty hard to oversalt it. I, I've known chefs that have actually coated the potatoes in salt versus wrapping them in foil, which is what I'm going to do here. You can poke it a few times, and then it's just uh, straight into the oven. I'm going to actually use this. Perfect. Mm. And we're going to work on a few more things. We'll be back in the kitchen in a minute, but for now, we're going to send it over to Emily Lenahan, who has. Okay, welcome back. We're with Chef David of the Buster Brown Bean Company. We're making broiled haddock. It's always wonderful to have you in the kitchen. Welcome. It's always wonderful to be with you, Amelia. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing right now? Okay, so right now we're going to take my locally grown and sourced vegetables I mentioned before. So uh, the broccolini actually came from the CSA Gone Gardens. The CSA is um, it's kind of like buying into a co-op of vegetables. That's awesome. Uh, this particular one is really cool. The, the head grower there is from Vietnam, and we get some of the most unbelievable, unique vegetables and herbs and I mean almost anything you can imagine I was just telling you she creates sculpture out of flowers yeah. and um, You're gonna garlic to tweet and us a picture of I'm gonna that. have to at we'll the next at the next farmers market in Fredonia I will tweet you guys okay, a picture that of that sounds good and then, and then, then got, these tomatoes I love this story yeah well these were given to me by uh, well the plants were given to my kids by George Civiletto he owns Tuscany um, fresh meat in Delhi uh, in Fredonia New York it's a mom and pop style place I absolutely love these guys I would do anything to push them and help their business for sure so that's why I'm mentioning them now again but he gave my kids these cherry tomato plants my, my son, Xavier, um, actually refers to cherry tomatoes as candy. And when we tell him he's had enough of them, he's like, I want more candy. <laughs> You're doing something right <laughs> something, there. Something's going on right there, right? <laughs> so um, I have my dredge. I've done this before. It's a little bit of the uh, Buster Brown Bean Company honey balsamic um, okay. vinaigrette. So I just take that and I water it down just a little bit. And I toss my vegetables in those. Okay. So we're going to be getting those ready. I'm going to take this uh, spatula here and just toss them around in that. While so, you're tossing that, I have to say, there's also kind of an accolade. Best of the best. You have four nominations. Talk to me about yeah, that. Yeah. Um, every year, the local paper, the Dunkirk Observer, uh, they do, um, it starts in midsummer. And they go through, I think it ends up getting announced sometime in early fall. But okay. we've been nominated in four categories for best of the best. Um, we've got best restaurant, best burger. Best breakfast and best fish fry. So, so if you are watching, best place to go. <laughs> best place to go is <laughs> hopefully me. Bean company. There you go. Yeah, the best brown bean company. Okay, we're gonna put things on pause here because yep. we're gonna have our long cooking segment coming up. Yep. We're gonna finish our fish, show you the final product. So stick with us. We'll be doing that later. But now we're gonna send things over to Emily and Matt. Thanks, Amelia. Well, long from the Buster Brown Bean Company. It smells delicious in here. We're making broiled haddock and we have our fresh local veggies that we're going to be putting with it. Okay, get us up to speed. What's All right, now? so for our haddock, what I did was um, have our potato ready there. Okay. <laughs> um, what we're going to do is just take a little bit of butter, well, okay. as much or as little as you want. I'm kind of a butter fanatic, but yeah, you know, I am that's too. just me. Um, and how about this? How about I put it on the actual broil pan, huh? Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever. It's a good thing you're it's awake Monday, this morning. Apparently, I'm not. <laughs> so I'm just gonna lightly coat the pan with some nonstick spray. Okay. And then what I do is I actually take and I tuck the tail, and I do that because um, it's thinner than the rest of the fish, the haddock, and okay. I don't want it to um, 
I don't want it to get all kind of tough and rubbery in so the cooking process. So it'll be cooking process. more yeah. evenly then. Yeah, so it'll cook more evenly, exactly. So we're going to salt and pepper it to taste. A little bit of white wine. Today I'm using and pairing with that Woodbury Chardonnay. We, I've, I've paired with this before. <clears throat> I'm a huge fan of it. A lot of the people around here are a huge fan of it. I know when you guys have tried it. So what I have here by the magic of TV You already is, have one that's done. Is, is that one it? that is done. So we're going to transfer this over here. Okay. I got our plate. Ooh, it looks so flaky and delicious. Yes, and if you'll excuse me. Okay, what right. do you need? A spatula okay. that doesn't exist anymore. Oh, here it is. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Now, you can get this at the Buster Brown Bean Company. Yep, we have this every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, basically. And you're Very actually exciting. still working. You're opening another location. Yep, we're opening another location. We're still working on that. We thought it was going to be open by now, but uh, we're going to try to make sure everything gets done right. You know, there's a, there's a lot to get done over there, but uh, we're, we're well on our way. We should be in the next week or two. I think be opening. So, awesome. Lastly, we're going to steam off our veggies. In the last segment, we toss those in that in that dredging right. solution, right? Um, always makes lots of noise on set and smells awesome, it, right? Yeah, it smells. You can really smell the balsamic, right? That <laughs> yeah, you that balsamic blend that I put in there. Um, so, what you're going to want to do is about one or two minutes out on your fish when you're going to time your fish for about nine or ten minutes. Okay. And then um, you can tell it's done when you push on it those layers are going to kind of slightly pop apart. Okay. And that's when you know when your fish is done, it'll firm up a little bit. It won't be squishy. Now, probably with fish, you want to check it more so than just let it uh, and kind of deteriorate. It cooks very nothing. quick. Yeah. So you do want to watch it. Like, it's only 9 or 10 minutes. I think in this particular oven, I have it at about 425. Okay. So, um, and literally, I, I timed it exactly. It was 10 minutes. Or just to go to the Buster Brown Bean Company, and you can cook it for people. Exactly. Or they can call <laughs> me anytime they'd like or tweet me. <laughs> the fans have been doing that quite a bit lately. That's so. awesome. Um, What's so your Twitter what, handle? A TVP David C. Okay. So, um, we'll have that on weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, the, the fans have found me there. And so basically, you're only going to do this for about a minute or two. You're going to wait. The, the cherry tomatoes, if the camera can get in there and see through all the steam, they'll start to pop. Oh, OK. And or I the like candy. Yeah, the, the candy, as my them. son likes to call them. I want the candy. So what you're going to do is just plate this up. And that um, seems up very quickly. Yeah, it's really fast. And um, personally, I like my veggies to um, to have some crunch and some bite to them. I don't want them to be mushy. Right. And to be perfectly honest, the majority of vegetables that you make are always going to be um, better for you if they still have some integrity to them. So if you boil a piece of broccoli to mush, you've pretty much boiled you that take out, out a lot all of the, the good stuff. Right? You want to keep that good stuff in there. So okay. there you go with that. Can I try it you then? go ahead and try it. This looks awesome. I'm pairing that like I said with the Woodbury Chardonnay, the 2008. However, let's give them some some of their proppers there. They just finished bottling their 2011 and if I uh, if anybody thought that their mm. 2008 was good, their 2011 is even better. This fish is awesome. It's so light. I mean, it is flaking apart. It's very light, very refreshing Great yeah. for summer. Great for summer since we're all kind of, you know, supposedly watching our figures when no one's looking. <laughs> I'm going to be um, enjoying this for lunch. I'm going to try some of the candy, too. I love some tomatoes. Candy. Anything else going on at the restaurant? Uh, well, we've got some, we've got a, a book signing coming up at the end of the month. I'll have more information on that. I'll be back again on the 20th of this month, so I'll have more Perfect. information then for that. Um, we'll have the Taste of Fredonia coming up at the end of the month and the, the, the jazz. And you have Red all your blues. local nominations, Best Restaurant, Best, best restaurant, Burger, yep. Best Breakfast. Yep, ObserverToday.com. Just go to their website, search for Best of the Best Voting. You can go to our website or our Facebook page. That's just Buster Brown Bean. Uh, Facebook, Buster Brown Bean, and then um, you can follow links there and vote for us because, you know, it's always good to get told that you're the best at something, especially in a small town. Absolutely, <laughs> and I have to say, this is amazing. Chef David, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Of course, we still have our second helping coming up. Emily will be in the kitchen for that. I'll be finishing up this, and before that happens, I'll uh, give you another look at your weather report. I'm back in the kitchen with Chef David from Buster Brown Bean Company. You are like a pro already. I <laughs> <Yeah>. love it. <laughs> and we are making in our second helping a seafood chowder. So yes. go ahead and tell me how we do this. So basically what I did is I took some leftover baked potato and the skin peels right off of it. Just use a regular peeler. All right. So I did that. I kind of chopped that down and cubed that up. Um, I sauteed some garlic, onion, and celery in this pan here. Turn this down because clearly it's hot enough. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, so what we did is we, we sauteed that stuff down. We let it sweat out. We didn't caramelize it or anything like that. I deglazed it with some white wine. Okay. And then um, I added some water. And then I took a piece of raw haddock 
and I put it in there. And it kind of gives it a nice little seafood flavor without being overwhelming, and it creates kind of like an instant stock for you. Okay? Awesome. So Which is there is any cool. cream in there? Or? Yeah. Okay. So what we did is I added some water, and I boiled it and made that stock or whatever, and then I added some cream to it. I put a bouquet garni, which is just a fancy way of saying a bundle of herbs, which is a fresh thyme and a bay leaf. And, uh, and it was, I just let it kind of come to a boil to make sure everything was cooked through, and we're done. So how long does it take then, would you say, beginning to end I think I honestly made this in about 10 or 15 minutes. So a nice, easy meal to make at home, yep. really. Yeah, some nice way to stretch your budget and uh, make something really good. Okay, Tasty. I'm going to grab a couple spoons yeah, while my friends come up here. Yeah. Let's see here. Like There's that. one spoon. Yeah. <laughs> we'll share. Don't <laughs> 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 Cheers. Oh, this Cheers. You get is the awesome. soup, I'll get the wine. Cheers. I'll get the fish. Congratulations on all of your thank nominations. You, thank you so much. I really appreciate <laughs> and it. And good luck with opening the new location. <laughs> We're going to need it. And we've been tweeting uh, with Chef David all morning, so if you do want to follow him on Twitter, just go Absolutely to Winging It uh, handle and you'll see the conversation yep. there. Uh, yep, a lot of the fans of Winging It actually tweet me and uh, I answer awesome. their questions and they come into the restaurant and they like to get pictures and they tweet them. So. It's fun. That's awesome. Yeah. And so what kind of cuisine? I don't even think we touched base on that earlier. Um, kind of refer to ourselves as standard um, American fare. We try to give you like four or five star quality food, but a relaxed atmosphere. On uh, dinner services, you can come in, tablecloths, candles, dimmed light. We serve wine and beer. And come in in a pair of jeans and a t-shirt for all I care. Make sure you're comfortable <laughs> and ready to eat and expand your waistline. So That's great so, atmosphere. And you, you can find comfortable. a pair of elastic jeans. That yeah, exactly. Like, that, that would be good, yeah. <laughs> so if anyone knows where Hi, to get those, yeah, I brought fashion right there. Tweet it at us. What do they say, Please, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I draw up, the line. <laughs> coming up Monday on Winging It Buffalo style, we'll have uh, the Shakespeare in the Park people here taking over our studio. Yeah, that's right. We'll learn all about their production of Midsummer Night's Dream, and we'll even try our hand at some Shakespeare trivia. And not only will we get a show, we'll get dinner with Chef Steve from Francesca's. See you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.